Imagine a fuel that's already waiting beneath our feet, a fuel that doesn't release carbon when burned, and may even be constantly replenished by nature. Scientists call it white hydrogen or natural hydrogen. Today the United States, France and Australia, plus a secretive startup called Coloma, are in a race to unlock it. But who's really ahead? Most hydrogen today is made in factories, green hydrogen from renewables, blue from natural gas, gray from fossil fuels. White hydrogen is different, it forms naturally underground when water reacts with certain rocks. Think of it like oil or gas, except without the carbon pollution. To see if natural hydrogen works, we travel to Mali, West Africa. In the 1980s, villagers drilled a well for water, but it released hydrogen instead. By 2012, the company Hydroma used it to power a generator, giving clean electricity to the village of Burakebugu. It was the world's first real pilot, proof that natural hydrogen could power homes. In the United States, a new energy revolution is quietly taking shape, and all eyes are on Coloma, a Denver-based startup that's making waves in the world of hydrogen. In 2023, Coloma managed to raise an impressive $91 million in funding, a remarkable feat for a company that's still in its early stages. This influx of capital signals a growing confidence in hydrogen as a potential game-changer for America's energy future, and it's drawing attention from some of the most influential names in technology and finance. Among Coloma's high-profile backers is Breakthrough Energy Ventures, the climate-focused investment fund founded by Bill Gates. This fund is known for supporting bold, innovative solutions to the world's toughest energy challenges. The involvement of such a heavyweight investor not only brings credibility to Coloma's mission, but also highlights the growing momentum behind hydrogen as a clean energy source. With support from both established investors and new players, Coloma is positioning itself at the forefront of a potentially transformative industry. Coloma currently holds exclusive rights to explore vast tracts of land in the American Midwest, a region that could hold the key to unlocking natural hydrogen reserves. The company has already begun drilling test wells, searching for underground pockets of hydrogen that could be tapped as a clean, abundant energy source. These early efforts are part of a broader push to determine whether natural hydrogen can be produced at scale, and if so, whether it can help the United States transition away from fossil fuels. Coloma isn't alone in this race. Other ambitious players have entered the field, including Natural Hydrogen Energy LLC, a pioneering American company, and Hytera, an Australian-listed firm that's now working on projects in Kansas and Nebraska. These companies are all vying to be the first to prove that natural hydrogen can be extracted and commercialized in the United States. Their efforts are drawing international attention and sparking new partnerships between American and foreign investors, all eager to stake a claim in what could become a multi-billion dollar industry. Despite the excitement and investment, it's still very early days for America's hydrogen gamble. The drilling so far has been mostly experimental, with no commercial hydrogen flowing through pipelines yet. The challenges ahead are significant. Geological uncertainty, technical hurdles, and the need for new infrastructure all stand in the way. But for Coloma and its competitors, the potential rewards are enormous. If they succeed, they could help reshape the global energy landscape and put the United States at the forefront of a new, cleaner era. In May 2023, French researchers and the company Française de l'Energie made a major discovery in the Lorraine Basin. This region, known for its rich industrial history, has now become the focal point of a groundbreaking energy find. The discovery has the potential to reshape the future of energy in Europe, offering a glimpse into a more sustainable and independent energy landscape. Hydrogen concentrations of 15% were found at about 1,000 meters deep. This is a significant find as hydrogen is a clean and efficient energy source. The presence of such high concentrations at relatively shallow depths suggests that there could be even richer deposits further down. The team used advanced geological and geophysical techniques to map out these hydrogen pockets, providing a detailed understanding of the subsurface conditions. Even more surprising, almost 98% purity appeared at around 3,000 meters. This level of purity is exceptional and indicates that the hydrogen found here is of a quality that could be directly used in various industrial applications without extensive purification. The implications of this are vast, as it could reduce the cost and environmental impact associated with hydrogen production. Now France is planning deeper wells nearly 4,000 meters to confirm if this hydrogen can be tapped sustainably. 
The goal is to determine whether these hydrogen reserves can be extracted in a way that is both economically viable and environmentally friendly. If successful, this could lead to the development of new drilling technologies and methods that could be applied in other regions as well. If successful, it could transform Europe's energy independence. By tapping into these hydrogen reserves, Europe could reduce its reliance on imported fossil fuels, leading to greater energy security and stability. This discovery not only holds promise for France but for the entire continent, potentially paving the way for a new era of clean energy. The journey to harnessing this resource is just beginning and the world will be watching closely as France takes these next crucial steps. In 2021, South Australia updated its laws to allow hydrogen exploration. By late 2023, Gold Hydrogen drilled its first wells in the Ramsey project. Early results look promising and tests continue through 2024 and 2025. With vast land and strong export ties, Australia could become a major hydrogen supplier to Asia and beyond. So where do things stand? Let's take a closer look at the global race to unlock the potential of natural or white hydrogen, a resource that could transform the world's energy landscape. Around the globe, scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs are working to tap into this clean, naturally occurring gas, hoping to spark a revolution in how we power our lives and industries. In Mali, a small, remote village has already made history. Years ago, it became the first place in the world to run on natural hydrogen discovered by accident while drilling for water. The hydrogen bubbling up from deep underground was captured and used to generate electricity for the community. For the people of Burakabugu, this invisible gas brought light to homes, powered schools, and even ran water pumps, changing daily life in ways that were once unimaginable. Their story has inspired researchers and investors worldwide, proving that natural hydrogen isn't just a theory, but a real working solution. In the United States, the search for white hydrogen has kicked into high gear. Companies like Coloma, backed by hundreds of millions of dollars in venture capital, are drilling exploratory wells in hopes of striking it big. Teams of geologists and engineers are scouring the American heartland, using advanced technology to map underground hydrogen reserves. The stakes are high. If they succeed, the U.S. could become a leader in a brand new energy industry, creating jobs and reducing carbon emissions at the same time. Meanwhile in France, excitement is building around the Lorraine Basin. This region, once known for its coal mines, may soon be famous for something entirely different, Europe's first natural hydrogen field. French scientists are conducting detailed surveys, analyzing rock samples and drilling test wells. If their predictions are correct, the Lorraine Basin could help Europe meet its ambitious climate goals and reduce its dependence on imported fossil fuels. Down under in Australia, the vast outback is the setting for another hydrogen hunt. Gold Hydrogen, an ambitious startup, is leading exploration efforts in South Australia. Their teams are braving harsh conditions, drilling deep into ancient rocks in search of hydrogen trapped for millions of years. The hope is that Australia's unique geology will yield large, accessible reserves, positioning the country as a future hydrogen powerhouse. But here's the truth. Despite all the excitement and investment, no country has yet managed to bring commercial quantities of white hydrogen to market. The technology is promising, the discoveries are real, but the leap from pilot projects to full-scale production remains just out of reach. Investors are eager, governments are watching, and the world's energy future hangs in the balance. The world is waiting for the first big breakthrough, a moment that could change everything. As the clock ticks, the race continues, and the promise of clean, abundant hydrogen remains one of the most exciting frontiers in energy today. If white hydrogen proves abundant and cheap, it could honestly revolutionize clean energy. Unlike green hydrogen, it doesn't need vast amounts of electricity. Unlike blue hydrogen, it doesn't rely on capturing carbon. It's simply there, underground, just waiting. The challenge is proving it can be produced safely, consistently, and at scale. The race is on. America's Coloma France's Lorraine Basin and Australia's Ramsey Project are leading the way. But the winner will be the first to show natural hydrogen can flow at scale. Do you believe white hydrogen will transform energy, or is it overhyped? Tell us in the comments, and hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and explore our playlist on future energy technologies, because this story is only just beginning.